Hey guys, welcome to Creative Marina. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this custom animated product look card. So at the end of this tutorial, you go to create something that looks like this. And when you hover on any of the card, you have this animation. You can see this wonderful effect here on all the cards. You can come over here, click on this art card, and then it is responsive on all devices. You can check that out. Looking at what it looks like on your laptop. This is what it looks like. And then also, you come over here, you check it out on tablet. See how it looks wonderful on tablet as well. And also on your mobile devices. It also looks wonderful on mobile devices as well. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In our Elementor editing screen, I've already taken the time to create this sample page here with this sample design here. This is what we're going to display our product look okay so the next thing we can do here is we're just gonna come over to our dashboard and then head over to where we we'll have the template i will click on the team builder let's open it in another tab okay and then now let's come over here to where we we'll have the loop item and let's click on this plus icon here to add a new loop okay so we won't be using this sample here we're just gonna close this here and let's create ours from scratch so before we get started, let's come over here to where we we'll have the settings and then let's title our loop. We're going to call this custom product. Okay. Then we're going to come over here to where we we'll have the query and then we're going to change the source type from post to product and we're going to click on apply. Okay, great. So the next thing we're going to do here, we can see here now we now have our recommended widget, which is related to product for us to use easily. So we're just going to come over here, click on this and then select the flexbox container and then let's select this structure here. Okay. So now we're going to come over here for the content width, we're going to set it to full width. And then for the width, we're going to change the uniform percentage to pixel and then give it a value of 250. Okay. And then for the minimal height, we're going to set the minimal height to the value of 200 pixel. Okay. Then we're going to come down here. We'll make sure we set the justify content to the center and then align items to the center as well. All right, so now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here to the style option. Now for the background type, we're going to set it to classic and then set the background color to be F, P, F, 0, E, 5. Okay. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come down here to where we have the border and then we're going to set the border radius to 1 REM. So we're going to change the uniform pixel to REM and then give it a value of 1 REM. Okay, so we now have something that looks like this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the part, uh, advanced settings and then come over to the pattern, change the uniform pixel to REM as well. And then we're going to unlink this now to the top. We're going to set the top to 1.5 REM. Then to the right, we're going to set the right to 2 REM. And then to the bottom, 1.5 REM. And then to the left, 2 REM. Okay. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over here. Let's rename this container here. Let's call it card. And then let's click on this plus icon here. And let's drag another container and drop it within. Now for this container within, we're going to call this container the card image. And then we're going to come over here and let's duplicate it. And then for this next one, we're going to call it the card name. And then for the third one, we're going to duplicate it again. For the third one, we're going to rename it. And then we're going to call it card price. Okay, great. So now we now have three inner cards within our card. So for the card image, we're going to come over to the card image. And we're going to come down here and make sure we set the content width to full width. And then we're just going to come over to the advanced settings. Now for the advanced settings, we're going to come to the padding. And then we're going to link this and change the unit to REM at the bottom. We're going to give it REM of 1, 1 REM to the bottom. Okay, good. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over to our widget area and we're going to drag the featured image to the card image here. Okay, so we're going to set the image resolution to full. And then for the link, we're going to set it to custom URL and then dynamic tag and set it to post URL. Now we're going to go to the style option. For the style of show, we're going to come over to the width and change the uniform percentage to pixel. And then we're going to give it a value of 200 pixel. 200 pixel. And then for the max width, we're going to set it to 
Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come down to the card name. Now for the card name, we're just going to come over here and then let's, let's make sure we set the content width to full width and then let's come over here and justify content to the center. Okay. And then let's come over here and let's drag the post title. There's a product title. Yep, yeah, this is it. Let's drag it and drop it here. Okay. Now we're going to come over here to the style options and then we're going to set the color to white. We're going to set the color to white. I'm going to come over to the typography. Now for the typography, we're going to set the, leave the font family at default. And then for the font size, we're going to change the unit to REM and then we're going to give it a value of one REM. And then we're going to come over to the width and set the width to 500 medium. Okay. Not to worry, this may not be showing clear, but as time goes on, it's going to come out clearly for us to see. Okay. So now we're done with that. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to head over to the card price. Let's just close this, close this. Now we'll come over to the card price container. Now for the card price container, we're going to come down here, make sure the content rate is set to full width. And then we're going to come down here to the direction. We're going to set the row direction to row horizontal. And then we're just going to make sure we align items to the center. And for the gaps, we're going to unlink this and make sure it's set to zero, no gap between. Okay. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to click on this plus icon here and let's drag a container and drop it here. Now for this container, we're going to duplicate it. Okay. Now for the first container, we're going to call it price. And then the second container, we're going to call it cut. Okay. Now for the price container. What we're going to do here is we're going to come over to the width and then we're going to set the width to 60%. And then we're going to come over and make sure we justify content to the center and then align items to the center as well. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the cart container. Now for the cart container, we're going to set the width to 40%. Okay. And then we're going to make sure we justify content to the center as well and then align items to the center here. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the price container. Let's drag, let's click on this plus icon and let's drag our product price and drop it here. Okay, now for the product price color, we're going to set the color here to be A7, A7, A7. Okay, and then we're going to come over to the font size. Now for the font size, we're going to set, leave the font family at default and change the font size you need from pixel to REM and then give it a value of one REM, one REM. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to come down to the sale price and the sale price, we're going to set the color to black and then we're going to come over to the typography and then for the font size, we're going to change the unit to REM and then give it a value of 1.1 REM. Now let's come over to the width and then let's set the width to 500 medium. Now let's come over to decoration. Let's remove this underlining here. So let's come over to decoration and let's set it to on. Okay, great. Okay, so now that we've done this, um, the next thing we're going to do here is uh, let's increase this to 1.2 and let's see. Okay. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the space. Let's change the unit from pixel to REM and then let's give it the value of 1.3 REM. Okay, now now that we've done that and everything now looks great here. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come over to the cart container. For the cart container, we're gonna come here and add the add to cart widget widget. Now we're not gonna make it of this widget here, so we're just gonna search for add to cart and then we're gonna make it of this custom add to cart widget. So we're just gonna drag it and drop it here. Okay, now we're gonna come over to the button, then we're gonna clean this text here, and then we're gonna leave it at to be icon alone, then we're going to go, go to the style option. Now for the style option, we're going to position it to the right. And then for the typography, we're just going to come over to the typography here. And then we're going to set the font size unit from pixel to REM and give it a font size of 1.5 REM. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we're going to come over here for the background. We're going to set the background to transparent. And then for the text color, we're going to set it to black. Okay, great. Now we're going to come over here to the hover. And then we're going to give the hover a color. Now for the hover text color here, we're going to set it to... Okay, so now when you hover, you now have this wonderful color here. Great. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come down here to the padding. And we're going to unlink the padding. 
Okay, great. So we now have it like this. Okay, so now, now that we're done here, what we're going to do here is we go to, we can see now that our text here, our price here, and this are not well leveled. So we're going to add some margin to the price. So we're just going to edit this price here and let's go to the advanced settings and let's go over to the margin to the bottom. And then let's give it set the margin to the bottom to minus 15 pixel. Okay, now it looks great. So this is what we now have here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to try and set the check the responsiveness of this our design. And so to do so, we're going to come over here, toggle the responsive move, and then check it out on tablet. It looks okay on tablet. And then we're going to go to mobile you can see we now have an issue on mobile so to fix this we're just going to come over to this card container here now what we're going to do here is we're going to come over to the layout now for the layout we're going to set the width to 230 pixel 230 pixel and then we're going to come over to the image now for this the image here and then we're going to set the image size to 150 pixel yeah and then we're going to come over to the price for the price we're going to set let's come over to this time we're going to set this the original price we're going to set it to 0.9 rem 0.9 rem and then we're going to set the seal we're going to set the seal price font to 1 rem okay great now we're going to come over to the price container now for the price container we're going to make sure we set Change this to percentage and see, give it the value of 60%. Okay. And then we're going to come down here to the, the card container and do the same changes from pixel to percentage and give it the value of 40%. Okay. So we now have our design looking great on mobile as well. Okay. So now let's exit our responsive mode and now let's come over here. Now, the next final thing we're going to do here before we add our code that we animate this design for us, we're going to come over to the card. And then let's go to the style option. Now for the style option here, we're going to come over to the hover and then let's set the background type to classic and let's give it the background color when we hover. Okay. So we're going to set the background color here to be E, B, E, B, E, B. Okay. So now when we, well, we come away with hover, we now have this effect as you can see. Okay, so now, now we are done designing our, the structure of our product card. Now the next thing is for us to add our CSS code to beautify and animate this product card for us. So I'm just going to head over to our VS code and then I'm going to copy this code here. Okay. And then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to come over to our card. Now go to the advanced settings, come down here to have the custom CSS. Mind you, this custom CSS feature is only available on the Elementor Pro. So if you do not have it, there will be a link in the description of this video for you to get it. So I'm just going to come over here and then I'm going to paste our code here. Okay. So now you can see that nothing has happened here. The reason for that is we haven't added the various classes. So we're going to add a class. So the first class we'll be adding is the class called card. And then we're going to add it according to the name of our container. So this container here called card, we're going to add Go to the layout, come down here to where we have the CSS class. We're going to add it and call it card. So we're going to come back here to the custom and then we'll have the card image. This one here, we're going to copy it out, come down to the card image. Under the advanced settings, we're just going to come over to the CSS class and add it here. Then we're going to come back here and we're going to copy out the next one, which is the card name, the next class card name. I'm going to copy this out and come down here to where we have the card name container. Come down here and then the CSS, we're going to add it here. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over to the price. Now for the price, we're going to come here, go to the advanced settings, come down here, and then we're going to add, go to the card container here, and then we're going to come down here to the CSS class, and we're going to add, copy out the card price. And then we're going to talk here and we're going to paste it here. 
Okay, we can see now that we've added our card, our code, and everything is looking great. But however, we now we do not have the desired design. So to correct that, we're gonna come over to the card here, and then we're gonna go to the layout. Now for the layout, we're gonna come down here to where we have the additional option, and then we're gonna set the overflow here to hidden. Okay, so now we will come here and we'll hover. This is where we now have our animated card looking great. Okay, and it's responsive on our designs. So after that. The next thing we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to come over and click on the publish. Great. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to go to our design. This is our design here. This is where we're going to add our loop. So we're going to click on this plus icon here and then we're going to search for loop. And we're going to set, drag the loop grid and drop it here. Okay. Now we're going to come over here for the template type. We're going to change it from post to product. And then for the template, we're going to search for the template. Remember the title we gave our template here. We gave it a custom product. So we're just going to copy it out here. Then we're going to come over here and search for that. And let's now pull it up. This is it. Okay. So we can now see our design here. We can sit. Okay. You can see this is our design. Now we can just come over here and let's check it out on other on other devices. Now we can see it still works well. Still works well on tablet. Now let's come over to mobile and let's check it out on mobile. Now we can see it is working well on mobile as well. However, our design here is not responsive, so let's come back here and let's edit this. Let's come over here, change the font size and then let's come over here and let's go to the advanced settings and let's unlink this to the top give it a value of 100 to the right 20 pixel to the bottom 100 and then to the left 20 pixel so we now have this looking well and working pretty well on mobile devices as you can see so you can just tweak this spice it up however you want to make your design looks look great for you so that's pretty much it about this tutorial. I, and so we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you've learned something new from this video. If you've done that, remember to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it as well. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused or have a suggestion. And I'll do what to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.